to the program. You're watching Sean Bike. My name is Sean Santa Maria. I got something really cool to show you guys. Tara. And here we go. This is the Drift Motor Raptor 2.0. It just looks fucking badass, man. <laughs> Ang ganda tingnan. It's a real head turner, and I'm so happy to get my hands on a unit. Napakaganda. So thanks to my buddy, long time buddy, one of my oldest friends, GM Bugayong, who owns Drift Motor and uh, Drift Exhaust, which is the mother company. Ganda ng bike na to. So we're gonna do a walk around, we're gonna do a bike check of sorts. And this is from uh, the perspective of someone who does not know anything about motorcycles or e-bikes for that matter. Um, galing ito sa taong may alam sa bisikleta. Okay, and uh, look, first look pa lang. Mukhang motorcycle, di ba? Mukha siyang scooter, mukha siyang cafe racer. But if you take a close look, maraming elements ang bisikleta. Di ba? I'd like to bring your attention to the crank. The pedal <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So we have our chain ring over here. And I believe this is a 50. One by lang siya. You have your crank arm. And this I believe is a 175. Flat pedals. The pang MTB. Look, and drive train yan pare. Bike na bike. It runs on a Shimano 7 speed. SIS index um, sprocket. Tong shifter niya. Seven speed. Oh, before anything else, pala. So it's it's an e-bike. It's an electric fat bike. Na may pedal assist. Which means kada pajak mo kapag naka on yung pedal assist, may may tulong may boost na electric powered but one of the best things about this bike is that uh, kunwari tamad ka nang mag pedal no? meron siyang throttle at dito siya you see how I can twist this and it makes almost half of uh, the, the grip dito sa kanan yan ang throttle brakes kaliwat kanan din just like a bicycle. So, mga inuuna kong pinapakita sa inyo guys are the, the components that are very... Uh, that are very much from a bicycle, ha? Huh? So, you have your brakes. At uh, Asian standard ito. Uh, US standard, Asian standard. Na yung kanan ay sa likod. Kaliwa, sa harap. And uh, the braking power is brought to you by... 160 millimeter disc rotors. No MTB talaga. So 160 sa likod. 160 din sa harap. Disc brakes of course. At kung matalas mata ninyo, you might notice na cable actuated siya. Hindi pa siya hydraulic disc brakes. But it does the job. And you know if uh, if you if you buy a unit, tapos gusto nyo ng mas may braking power, go ahead, palitan nyo ng hydraulic disc brakes. Actually, tinitinan ko din to kanina, eh, no? kung upgradable ang, ang drivetrain. Kaya, guys. Kung gusto nyo mag 10 speed, feeling ko kaya. Eh. It's a matter of, uh, I'm not so sure, no? Kasi usapang free hub ang mangyayari. And your electric motor would be here. Ito yan. Pero free hub naman yan eh. So baka kaya 10 speed. I'm not sure if, if you own a Raptor or any e-bike na ganito ang, ang makeup. Ganito ang build. Let me know kung na-upgrade nyo na siya. Kasi yung, yung wiring niya no. Like um, sa, sa drivetrain ano. Dito rin eh. Externally routed. Dumadaan din siya sa ilalim mo. Oh. Um, hydraulic disc brakes for sure kaya yan and uh, kung, kung gusto nyo and I would recommend upgrade to hydraulic disc brakes ayan the saddle component here clamp din siya 
adjustable, may fore and aft, may saddle tilt na pwedeng i-adjust. Napaka bisikleta ng dating. The rims are 20 inches. So 20 ang ikot niya. And yung kapal is 4.0. Look at that. 20 by 4.0. Ang typical mountain bike, di ba? 225, 2.4. Makapal na yun. Yung mga 2.4, 2.5. But these are 4.0s. Fat bike nga siya. Pang off-road. And of course, because uh, they're fat tires, malakas ang rolling resistance niya. Hindi siya not meant for speed, but these are built for comfort. Pwede na rin sa akyatan kung gusto mo. Mga mild na ascents. Dahil nabi yan, it will grip the ground. Pwede rin pang off-road ng konti. But I wouldn't really recommend na <laughs> isabak yun sa, sa trails or uh, sa mga downhill. Hindi siya pang ganun. It's a, it, it's a, it's a commuter bike. It's a, it's a bike that takes you from A to B. And uh, hindi siya dapat isubject sa abuse. Ang ganda, as you see my shadow over here. Hello? Dito nga pala tayo sa community center namin. Uh, likod natin ay basketball court. Uh, malungkot na basketball court. <laughs> Drift motor, Raptor 2.0. Now, I'd like to um, cover the parts that make this a motorcycle. Ha? Una na lang, itong top tube, no? This would make the... Uh, the tank area, kumbaga, sa motor. Massive eh. Ang ganda. And design-wise, ah, ito ang parang sobrang efficient niya. Simple lang. Cylinder lang to pare. Tube. Aluminum. Look at the stays sa likod. Yeah, rear suspension. Na may adjustable, uh, adjust mo to sa height eh. And you need a tool. To, uh, to adjust this of course and you have your front suspension na very MTB like ito I believe these are 32's uh, maiksi lang yung travel no? hindi naman siya pang ano talaga hindi pang uh, downhill pero ang front suspension niya uh, motorcyclo slash MTB ang dating meron tayong windscreen baba siya and this is the perfect height uh, if this were any higher, eh, I don't know, no? sa mga nagmomotor, di ba? Ang mga matataas na windscreen, mainit yan eh. <laughs> Ang tendency naman sa mababang windscreen is uh, yung hangin, papunta lahat sa mukha mo. And I haven't really ridden this that fast for me to share my experience. But uh, let's see. Let's do a ride video na na-separate. Okay? Obviously, kita nyo yung headlamp. Napaka-cafe racer ng dating angas, no? And the headlamp is uh, covered by this uh, cage. Protector siya. Obviously. Ito, ito. <laughs> we have Pia car horns. Ano pa ba? So dito sa side na to, there's obviously a kickstand. Kapal yan. To hold the weight of the bike na nakatilt to its left. Yung total weight pala nito, 33 kilograms. So mabigat. Hindi ka naman mag expect na magaang to but you see how massive this bike is. 33 kilograms. At ang kaya niyang karga na passenger is up to 150 kilograms. So it can carry you. Malaki ang uh, tao ang kaya niyang i-handle. Taillights pala. This makes it distinctly a, uh, a almost a cafe racer talaga. Yung kong taillights. Yeah, what you see here is the battery. Ito ang baterya ng pinaka-bike. This powers the electric motor. At uh, hinihila yan. Yeah, we're not gonna do this, no? Hindi natin bubuksan talaga. But uh, dito sinasaksak ang battery. And this, of course, is rechargeable. In charger, nasa bahay. We have an external battery also. Ito siya, no? And uh, the external battery powers uh, the accessories. Ilaw. Uh, it also provides power for the horn. Uh, for our uh, uh, LCD. Na andyan yung info nyo. I-on nga natin to. Hold it down for 3 seconds or so. Ayan. Speed yan. And uh, you see this number 1 over here. Nadadagdaga mo kasi siya. May plus tsaka minus. Yan yung pedal assist niya. 
2, 3, 4, 5. 5 speeds yan. Balik natin sa 0. It goes without saying, the higher the number, mas may assist, mas may tulak from the electric motor na nanggagaling sa likod. And as I mentioned kanina, pag pagod kang pumedal, basta may, may numero naka-indicate dyan, you twist the throttle, which we're not gonna do. <laughs> Under to, twist mo lang yan and it's gonna move like a motorcycle. Yan ang gears mo. The lower the number, the bigger the gear. Ibig sabihin, nasa easy gear ka. And as you go to, through the numbers, when you hit number 7, mas bumibigat, mas may speed. Alright? Uh, just uh, some of the controls here. Uh, L, tsaka R. Yan ang ating headlamp toggle. Okay? You have switches here for the horn and for uh, the park light. Ito ang mga uh, clearance light natin. Left signal, right signal, and this is the horn. Uh, this is the switch that controls the LCD and uh, the, the power levels up or down. Steerer tube din yan, no? May cap din, just like a bicycle. And there you have it, quick bike check ng Drift Motor Raptor 2.0. Talagay kayo specs sa description. I'm enjoying the bike, guys. Sobrang angas. Sobrang enjoy. It's a different dimension to bike riding. It's not quite a motorcycle. It's not a bicycle. Nasa gitna siya. And I'm gonna make another video um, on the bike. No, On bike video tayo. Let's take it for a spin. But we're gonna do that in another video. So if may mga tanong kayo, lagay niyo sa comments. Let me know. Follow me on Instagram. Pwede rin kayo magtanong doon. Yan na. Ride safe. God bless you all. See you next time.